So I'm with William DeFry and Lisa Lucisro General Hospital. We're backstage at the Creative Arts Emmys. They don't know what they quite did. Just <laughs> well, that's because we did because four. they're they're so busy. There's, they, there's the script for what awards? Well, no, it's just it's a mouthful. Each one. Yeah. It's not just best actor. Right. It's, I don't, know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember the technical wording of what it was. Exactly. Was it art direction and scenic design or something like that, or mixtape design? Why are you putting us on the spot? Because I just... <laughs> <laughs> don't ask us what we're. So, what did you guys do? <laughs> well, let's talk about General Hospital. Okay. Okay. That's something that I know all the answers. Well, most sort of, sort of. What if you accept what's happening in the future? Right. So, <laughs> so what if you, your character? What, Olivia sleep with Julian? <laughs> well, it is a soap opera. Uh, what I, be, I don't think that my character likes Julian very much. No, that means however, love. That means love and ah, love. However, 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 however uh, the opposite of love uh, is, is not uh, hate. The opposite of love is indifference. Some people don't know that, so there's, and, there's you know. Yeah, and I think there would be a, I, I don't know, I, I'm kind of looking at the character and you're doing such great, wonderful work, seriously. Uh, um, and I'm trying to catch up with the show and I'm watching what uh-huh. we're shooting today. But I think there's a part of Olivia that would go, maybe not out of, just to spite him. Just yes. to spite yeah, I think Sonny. just to spite Sunny, you'd be, sleep with Julie. Yeah. It would be a huge spider just on Sunny, yeah, exactly. for sure. And she loves bad boys. Well, you yeah. need to get back at oh, Sunny. Somehow. Yeah. 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 How else are you going to do it? Sleeping with him. Mm-hmm. We've written it for Ron. So we've written yeah. Ron. There you have it. I've written your next affair. <laughs> on the show. So I was kind of disappointed this year that General Hospital was not nominated for Best Show, Drama Series, and Writing because it was the 50th anniversary year. You guys were all so great. And it was a real downer. I was wondering what you thought about it. It's going to happen once in a while, I guess. It's our turn. Yeah. Um, I, I, I don't even know how to respond because, uh, you know, we do. We, we have a great show. I mean, I am a fan of the show, watching the show. At the end of every episode, I feel like I'm ready to watch the next episode. I mean, every episode there's a cliffhanger, I mean, in my mind. With and, you in it. Well, no, that's <laughs> not necessarily true, yeah. But, um, uh, you know, I, re- I really enjoy the show. So, you know, I mean, it, but it's crucial. I mean, what you submit is crucial. So, yeah, we'll that see. That's really the truth. That's very that's true. Really I mean, it is. Yeah. I mean, you could do fantastic work, 200 and, you know, f- 39 episodes out of the year and submit the 240th so you know I just want to say to you that I, I wrote about this but you know one of my favorite scenes of the year was the scene where you with Wood Lucas and you talked about coming like when you were trying to deal with him the knowledge of it and it was the most realistic I thought it was so realistic the way you played it I think anybody in that position would have played it like that and I thought I just thought it was so realistic and I thought kudos to you thank you like that should have been like a nomination right there. Well, I'm saying. not even, I can't remember what year, was that this year? Or was yeah, that, yeah. That might have been it this been year. It been the year previous. So this would be for next year's submission. Potentially. Oh, yes. Yeah. So I know, I lose it too. I lose, that episode. I do lose track of that stuff too, though, no question. But I, I you know, I think uh, I learned a valuable lesson last year because I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention to that stuff. But now this year, as I watch the shows, I'm, I, I might make a note of something that, you know, so hopefully at the end of the year I'll have six selections that I can choose from. Mm-hmm. Now, you, you, tell you. you, well, yeah, and they did. <laughs> yeah, they, they did a did. good job. I, I asked that them because I couldn't remember, so I asked them. But Lisa has twelve episodes. I have six. Twelve so, episodes of what? Of, of, of my gay son coming out? No, to select. That would be great, though. No, to oh, oh, oh. Is there a gay a son? <laughs> Dante, Ron, like, we're writing another storyline for you. Yeah, the, the actors are full of genius ideas. You should just oh, ask us. Yes. yes. Yeah. Oh, I know they are. No, but um, no, she's got you know she's got a ton of stuff that, that she could submit. When Sunny let, told you. I mean, well, yeah, working with Maurice and, and having your heart broken by Sunny Corinthos is something that is really sort of like a icing on the cake on a, of, of, of daytime. It's really something that's fun to play. He draws you in with his devil eyes, and it just makes it very easy and a lot of fun. So I had I had fun with that. I had good material with that, and then I have some some fun stuff coming up too. So it's, sort of time for Olivia to have a smile on her face for a while. And maybe Julian will put that smile on her face. Could be. Well, you never know. Never know. But, uh, you know, Lisa does brilliant, honest, beautiful work. Thank you. Thank you. So this is the Kudo Society. Thank you very much, <laughs> William. You're welcome. Lisa. Michael. Pleasure. Always.